Across the globe, our planet is in constant motion. From the highest mountain peaks to the deepest ocean trenches, the Earth's surface is dynamic and ever-changing. But these changes are now accelerating, especially in our planet's coastal cities. Many of these bustling centers face a watery grave. The ground beneath them is subsiding, while rising sea levels threaten to engulf them. From Venice to Jakarta, we will journey to 10 cities grappling with this reality. On the bustling island of Java lies Jakarta, the vibrant capital of Indonesia. Yet Jakarta is sinking at an alarming rate, with some areas disappearing beneath the waves. This dramatic subsidence is driven by the relentless demand for groundwater. The extraction causes the ground to compact, leaving the city vulnerable. Rising sea levels further exacerbate the plight of this sinking city. But the people of Jakarta are not standing idly by. Innovative projects and sustainable strategies are being implemented to secure their city's future. One of the most ambitious projects is the construction of a giant seawall to hold back the rising waters of the Java Sea. This giant seawall Jakarta is a testament to human ingenuity. However, the seawall alone cannot solve Jakarta's sinking crisis. Addressing the over-extraction of groundwater is paramount. The government is encouraging rainwater harvesting and promoting alternative water sources. But changing ingrained habits takes time. Despite the challenges, there is hope. A new capital city is being built on Borneo to alleviate pressure on Jakarta. The future of Jakarta remains uncertain. The spirit of its people offers a beacon of hope for all sinking cities. Miami, a city synonymous with glamour, art deco architecture and pristine beaches, is a jewel of the Sunshine State. Yet this vibrant metropolis faces an insidious threat, one that could see its iconic beaches swallowed by the Atlantic Ocean. Unlike Jakarta, Miami's sinking crisis is not primarily driven by groundwater extraction. Instead, the city's vulnerability stems from its very foundation. Built upon porous limestone, Miami is highly susceptible to the encroaching sea. As sea levels rise due to climate change, this porous limestone acts like a sponge, allowing salt water to seep in from below. This process, known as saltwater intrusion, contaminates freshwater sources, destabilizes infrastructure, and threatens the very foundations of this iconic city. The consequences are already being felt. High tide flooding, once a rarity, is becoming increasingly frequent, inundating streets, businesses, and homes. Miami is at a tipping point, a stark reminder of the vulnerability of even the most developed cities to the rising tides. Despite the challenges, Miami is not surrendering to the sea. The city is at the forefront of climate change adaptation. Billions are being invested in elevating roads, installing pumping systems, and improving drainage. Innovative solutions like artificial reefs and mangrove restoration are being explored. These efforts show a commitment to living with the rising seas. Adaptation comes at a cost, raising concerns about affordability and equity. Adaptation must be coupled with global action to reduce emissions. Miami's story is a reminder that climate change is a present reality, yet it also shows human ingenuity and resilience in adapting and persevering. Venice, a city unlike any other. Built upon a lagoon in the heart of the Adriatic Sea, Venice has captivated the world for centuries with its intricate canals, stunning architecture, and rich history. For generations, Venetians have lived in harmony with the water, their lives interwoven with the ebb and flow of the tides. Gondolas glide through narrow waterways, their gondoliers skillfully navigating the labyrinthine channels. But this delicate balance is under threat. Venice, the floating city, is sinking. The very waters that have sustained it for centuries are now rising, threatening to engulf this cultural treasure. The causes are complex and interlinked. Natural subsidence, the slow sinking of land, combines with the relentless rise of sea levels, driven by a changing climate. Each high tide brings the threat of flooding, a stark reminder of the city's precarious position. The Venetians are engaged in a constant battle against the encroaching sea. For centuries they have reinforced islands, strengthened foundations, and devised ingenious engineering solutions to protect their beloved city. The Mose Project, a system of massive flood barriers, represents their latest effort to hold back the tide. These hollow gates, submerged in the lagoon, can be raised to block high tides and protect the city from the worst of the floods. But these measures are costly, and may only buy time. The future of Venice remains uncertain, 
a stark reminder of the challenges faced by coastal communities worldwide. As the waters continue to rise, the world watches with bated breath, hoping that this unique and irreplaceable city can adapt and survive in the face of an uncertain future. Bangkok, the vibrant capital of Thailand, is a city of dazzling contrasts. Ancient temples stand in the shadows of towering skyscrapers while bustling markets offer a sensory feast of sights, sounds, and smells. Known as the Venice of the East, Bangkok is a city built on water. A vast network of canals or klongs crisscross the city, remnants of a time when boats were the primary mode of transportation. But beneath the surface of this bustling metropolis lies a hidden threat. Bangkok is sinking, and it's doing so at an alarming rate. Each year, parts of the city subside by as much as two centimeters, making it one of the fastest sinking cities in the world. This subsidence, combined with rising sea levels, poses an existential threat to this low-lying megacity. The causes of Bangkok's sinking are both natural and man-made. The city sits on soft, alluvial soil, a legacy of its location in the Chao Phraya River Delta. However, human activity has greatly exacerbated the problem. The rapid pace of development, coupled with excessive groundwater extraction, has created a dangerous recipe for subsidence. The weight of Bangkok's ever-expanding urban sprawl further compresses the ground below. As the city sinks and sea levels rise, the risk of catastrophic flooding becomes ever more real. The future of Bangkok hangs in the balance. Addressing the complex challenges of subsidence, sea level rise, and uncontrolled urbanization will be crucial to securing the future of this vibrant and dynamic city. New Orleans, a city steeped in history and renowned for its unique cultural tapestry, stands as a poignant reminder of humanity's complex relationship with nature. Built on the banks of the mighty Mississippi River, New Orleans has always been shaped by the ebb and flow of the water. Its vibrant music scene, its colorful architecture, and its resilient spirit are all testaments to this delicate balance. However, New Orleans exists in a precarious state. Much of the city lies below sea level, protected from the surrounding waters by a network of levees and flood walls. This precarious situation is further compounded by the fact that New Orleans is sinking. Subsidence, a natural process exacerbated by human activity, is causing the land to compact and sink further below sea level. The consequences of this sinking have been tragically demonstrated. In 2005, Hurricane Katrina, one of the most devastating natural disasters in American history, slammed into the Gulf Coast. The storm surge overwhelmed the city's defenses, flooding vast areas and causing widespread devastation. The images of New Orleans submerged beneath floodwaters serve as a stark reminder of the city's vulnerability. While efforts have been made to strengthen the city's flood defenses, the threat remains. Rising sea levels driven by climate change further exacerbate the risks faced by this low-lying city. The future of New Orleans depends on a delicate balancing act. Protecting the city from future floods requires not only robust infrastructure, but also a deep understanding of the natural forces shaping the Mississippi Delta and a commitment to addressing the challenges of climate change. Dhaka, Bangladesh. A bustling metropolis of over 22 million souls, one of the most densely populated cities on Earth. But Dhaka rests on a precarious foundation. Situated within the Ganges Brahmaputra Delta, this mega city faces a threat from both land and sea. The very ground beneath Dhaka is unstable, a tapestry of shifting sediments deposited over millennia by the mighty rivers. This natural subsidence is exacerbated by the sheer weight of the city itself, a burden too heavy for the land to bear. And as Dhaka sinks, the waters rise. Climate change fuels this watery assault, driving up sea levels and pushing the city ever closer to the brink. The future of Dhaka, a city teeming with life and potential, hangs in the balance. The consequences of inaction are already being felt. Flooding, once a seasonal visitor, has become a constant companion turning Dhaka's streets into canals. Homes and businesses are inundated, lives disrupted. The poorest and most vulnerable bear the brunt of this watery onslaught. 
but the people of Dhaka are resilient. They have learned to adapt to their city's precarious existence, constructing homes on stilts and navigating flooded streets with resourceful ingenuity. Yet such measures can only hold back the tide for so long. Dhaka stands as a stark reminder of the challenges facing coastal cities worldwide. The intricate dance between a rising sea and a sinking city is a story unfolding across our planet, a tale of human resilience in the face of an uncertain future. Alexandria, Egypt, a city steeped in history, its foundations laid by Alexander the Great himself. For millennia, Alexandria has stood as a beacon of culture and learning on the shores of the Mediterranean. Yet, this ancient city now faces a modern threat. Beneath the bustling streets and vibrant markets lies a history written in stone. The Grand Palace of Cleopatra, once a testament to Ptolemaic power, now lies submerged beneath the waves, a victim of earthquakes and the relentless erosion of the sea. This ancient city, once a jewel of the Mediterranean, finds itself increasingly vulnerable to the encroaching sea. Rising sea levels, driven by a warming climate, threaten to claim more of Alexandria's historic treasures, erasing centuries of human achievement. The impact of rising waters is already being felt. Coastal erosion eats away at Alexandria's shoreline, swallowing homes and businesses. Saltwater intrusion poisons the Nile Delta, threatening the livelihoods of farmers who have tilled the land for generations, but the spirit of Alexandria endures. Engineers have erected a series of breakwaters, concrete sentinels standing guard against the sea's relentless advance. These structures, along with beach nourishment programs, aim to protect the city's dwindling coastline. The battle for Alexandria is a race against time. As the sea rises, so too must the city's defenses. The fate of this ancient metropolis, a cradle of civilization, hangs in the balance. Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. A vibrant metropolis teeming with energy, a testament to Vietnam's economic rise. But beneath the gleaming skyscrapers and bustling streets, a crisis is unfolding. Ho Chi Minh City is sinking, and it's sinking fast. The Mekong Delta, a fertile expanse crisscrossed by rivers and canals, has long been a source of life for Vietnam. Yet this delta, upon which Ho Chi Minh City sits, is sinking, its very foundations compromised. The culprit? A combination of natural and human-induced factors. The extraction of groundwater, a vital resource for the city's growing population, is causing the ground to compact. And as the city's thirst for water grows, so too does the problem. The consequences of this sinking are already being felt. Flooding, once a seasonal occurrence, is now a regular visitor. The city's future is in jeopardy. Ho Chi Minh City stands as a stark warning. As the planet warms, these areas are on the front lines of climate change. But amidst these challenges, there is hope. City planners are working to address the root causes. Our journey now takes us to the Netherlands, a nation renowned for its age-old battle against the encroaching sea. Much of the land lies below sea level, protected by an intricate network of dikes and dams. But as the oceans rise, the Netherlands faces a challenge of unprecedented proportions. Among the Dutch cities most vulnerable is Rotterdam, a bustling port city and a vital economic hub. This intimate relationship with water is becoming increasingly precarious. With much of its land lying below sea level, Rotterdam is acutely aware of its precarious position. The city has embarked on ambitious projects, embracing the water rather than trying to defy it. One of Rotterdam's most striking adaptations is the Meislandkering, a marvel of modern engineering. This colossal storm surge barrier, completed in 1997, guards the entrance to the port of Rotterdam. The Meislandkering stands as a symbol of human ingenuity. Its massive arms, longer than the Eiffel Tower, lie dormant most of the time. But when a storm surge threatens, sensors and computer models trigger the barrier's closure. Slowly, the arms rotate to form an impenetrable wall against the sea. It's a breathtaking spectacle, a powerful reminder of the forces at play. Rotterdam's story is a beacon of hope, a testament to human innovation and adaptation. Our journey now takes us to the bustling metropolis of Lagos, Nigeria, a city pulsating with life and ambition. As one of the fastest growing cities on the planet, Lagos embodies the dynamism and challenges of urban expansion. But this rapid growth comes at a cost. Lagos is acutely vulnerable to climate change, particularly rising sea levels. The city's very foundations are being tested.
As sea levels rise and storms intensify, the challenges facing Lagos will only become more acute. The city's vital infrastructure, including roads, bridges, and power lines, is increasingly vulnerable to damage from flooding and erosion. These disruptions have cascading effects, impacting transportation, commerce, and access to essential services. The very fabric of life in Lagos is being strained. Yet even in the face of these daunting challenges, the spirit of Lagos remains undimmed. Communities are coming together to find innovative solutions, adapting to the changing environment and building resilience from the ground up. From constructing elevated walkways and early warning systems for floods to implementing sustainable waste management practices, the people of Lagos are demonstrating remarkable resourcefulness and determination. Their story is a testament to the human spirit's ability to adapt and overcome even in the face of adversity. From the sinking streets of Jakarta to the threatened shores of Lagos, coastal cities face profound challenges. As sea levels rise, these challenges demand urgent attention and action. These cities are home to millions and are vital economic and cultural hubs. Their survival is a matter of global importance, requiring a collective response. We must act now to mitigate climate change and transition to sustainability. Invest in adaptation measures to help vulnerable communities build resilience. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos.